Jurassic World Dominion is slated to be the film that will bring the entire franchise together, and with it taking place four years after the events of Fallen Kingdom, having dinosaurs now all over the world, and with the original characters Ian Malcolm, Ellie Sattler, and Alan Grant teaming up with Claire Deering and Owen Grady to face off against the original novel's main antagonist, Lewis Dodson, who was the man who hired Dennis Nedry to steal the dinosaur embryos all the way back in 1993. And with the promotion for the new film, there is one major component of the original trilogy that may play a key role in Jurassic World Dominion. And while Camp Cretaceous Season 4 may bring this abandoned island back, I think it may be used as the connection between both as a certain image of an embryo box bearing its name show that it will be coming back. So for today's video guys, I want to discuss why Isla Sorna, aka Site B, needs to make a return in Jurassic World Dominion. Hey guys, how you all doing today? Now for today's video, I want to discuss Isla Sorna, the second island of Injun and Mizrani that was where John Hammond had created the original dinosaurs that he would then ship over to Isla Nublar for Jurassic Park. And as the island was the primary location of two films, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, as well as Jurassic Park 3. And while it hasn't been seen for over 20 years now, its importance cannot be undermined. However, with a recent image of an embryo canister labeling Site B Isla Sorna on it being revealed for Jurassic World Dominion, it's very likely that we will be getting this island back for the film. Now while in the current timeline of the franchise, Sorna is believed to have been abandoned by Injun and Mizrani. However, there is still a chance that the island will be seen, as during the promotion of done by the Dinosaur Protection Group for Fallen Kingdom, much information on the second island has come to light, including what was the fate of the island after the events of The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3. And the public was made to believe that during the events of the San Diego incident, that the island was restricted. However, eventually it was shown to be quite easy for people to make their way to the island, seeing as how Grant's team in Jurassic Park 3 were able to easily fly to the island with no delays. However, it is eventually it was made known that the island had suffered a large amount of poaching before Mizrani had decided to round up as many dinosaurs for Jurassic World as he could, and with any other dinosaurs left to fend for themselves. And while I do think that Sorna making a physical appearance may not be completely necessary, we could still be shown what happened to it after these events. For instance, one idea that I have is that what could have happened to the island may also explain where Biosyn went after the events of Jurassic Park. As it could be easily explained that Biosyn was responsible for the dinosaur poaching in the first place, as in the Lost World novel, Dodson had planned to steal dinosaur eggs from Isla Sorna originally, and he would have used those dinosaurs for a dinosaur po poaching preserve, along with other plans of his own. And it could be explained that Dodson had went to Sorna during these events to collect what dinosaurs he needed, and used poachers as a, as a cover-up to make sure that his trail was never found by Mizrani or Ingen. It could also be possible that actually Biosyn went to the island to get other materials instead, such as this embryo box that it has been seen. Or even they could have made a base on the island itself, as after the events of Jur Jurassic World were explained and what happened to the island, it was confirmed in Fallen Kingdom that the island was completely abandoned. Now while the public is made to believe that there are no dinosaurs or anything on it anymore, it could be possible that there still was, and that Mizrani and Injun were trying to keep it hush up. And what could have happened is, during this time, Biosyn may have decided to make a base on the island itself, keeping it secret from the public and even Injun themselves, as they had no use of the island anymore. Biosyn decided to take what little they could and make so much more with it. Now, the only reason this could be um all could be inaccurate is due to the kids very likely making their way to Isla Sorna for Season 4 of Camp Cretaceous. But, this could be still in play, as Bio if Biosyn were to appear in the show, it could be explained that way. And then in 
Jurassic World Dominion, when Sorna were to appear, we would be able to know already that Biosyn already has control of it, or has used it for their own purposes. And that could explain why Sorna may not make a physical appearance in the f film itself, as we don't need to know if Camp Cretaceous already shows what happened to the island and that Biosyn has taken control of it, and taken all the materials that they have. Or what they could, anyway. They could have still left dinosaurs to keep InGen under the radar, as if they had taken everything, then InGen would immediately know what happened and would go after them. And they want to keep quiet, as they have for the entire franchise so far. But with images of the embryo box for Dominion and also of one showing Chris Pratt and another actress who's playing a new character, I can't remember her name, but it shows them both in a in a forested area, which, from the image, looks very similar to Sorna's um, ecosystem, at least if you're a fan of the Lost Worlds ecosystem of Redwood Forest, which I personally am. And as I said, if the kids do make their way to the island and do discover Biosyn and also Lewis Dotson, it could explain both what their fate was, as well as really the fate of Isla Sorna itself and how it could be shown in Dominion. But that's a topic for a whole nother video, guys. Anyway, what do you think about this theory of mine? Do you think that Sorna was taken by Biosyn to use for their own benefits? Or do you have another theory on what happened to the mysterious island of Site B? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them all in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.